added some new words to it, and the new words say, I am new. Christ lives in me. So yesterday we were walking on the waterway in the woodlands and there was a group, a, a church group in all the same t-shirts carrying a cross and they were asking, what can we pray for for you? And we thought it was the coolest. A young man named Frederico came up and he said, what can I pray for? I want to put it on the cross. And he wrote it on a sticky note and put it on the cross. And as the group passed by, a little boy with Down syndrome was in a stroller named Michael and I stopped to talk to his family and they were all with the group and I, I saw that most of them had a Hispanic background and I sang to them Levanto Mis Manos in Spanish and they said, you evangelized us. And I said, um, no, I didn't, but you blessed me and thank goodness the Lord allowed me to bless you. And the reason I could, in 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, the 17th verse, it says, if we are in Christ, we are a new creation. The old life is gone because we are new because of him. So I didn't do it yesterday. God did it through me. And each one of us that has Christ in our heart and in our lives is a new creation. And we can do that, not by ourselves, but with his help. And that's what we're celebrating as we sing. Lives in me. So 
Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger. In the presence of my Savior Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be in the presence of my Savior Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Next time I do baptisms, I need to remember to not wear a bow tie. I'm lousy in tying a bow tie, and I'm standing up there trying to get changed, get down here as quickly as I can. And, and there was that moment where I thought, okay, Bruce, you're preaching on all kinds of possibilities. You can make this happen. And, but you know what the message I got was the possibility that I had never imagined up until that point? Who cares? <laughs> if you can't tie this thing, who cares? We've gathered to worship one that walked out of a grave. It's a bow tie. Who cares? Let us be a people as we gather around the table that care about what's important about receiving God's love, about sharing that love, about finding ways of delivering that love into places that we previously could not have imagined delivering it. Because when we encounter the resurrected Christ, suddenly we are seeing things that we thought were impossible. Suddenly we see a path that wasn't there before, and there's good news. Let us come to the table this day with open hearts to receive that gift of love that we might share that gift of love. Jesus. 
Jesus sits at the table breaking the bread with his friends teaching what he is able before his life on earth ends do this in remembrance of me do this in remembrance of me take Today we are here to celebrate the risen Christ. We are here to celebrate the Christ that can call us by name and make us new, that can change our view on the world and opens this table to all of us, that calls us all by name and welcomes us here to be that change, to be something new in Christ and to show that love and to let Jesus be our mentor and our model in living that love first life. Will you please join me in prayer? Our precious Lord and risen Savior, we have looked at your love and examined our hearts from many different perspectives on this journey to today, our New Year's Day. Help us resolve to bring our hearts and your love to life because we know that as our heart beats, our body lives, and as our heart loves, our spirit lives. Let us actively and on purpose bring the power and passion of your resurrection love to each other and to those who will cross our path. Today is a new beginning full of amazing opportunities. As we linger here with you for just a little while longer, fill us up with a renewed energy to share your love, hope, and grace. Open our eyes to see those hurting souls and open our hearts to love them back to you. We commit these prayers to you along with the prayer you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. On the night of Jesus' arrest, he sat with his disciples and he took an ordinary loaf of bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them saying, take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, after the meal, he took the cup, he poured it out and he gave it to them saying, take, drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many. Do this every time you gather in remembrance of me. Here at Cypress Creek, we take communion by intinction. So we dip the bread in the cup and enjoy the holy meal. We have gluten-free option up here to my left, your right. We also invite you to bring forward your blue cards and put them in the baskets on either side. The meal is ready. Please come. Ah. Uh -huh. 
this Easter Sunday, but we also claim that we are an Easter people. So the message of this day is not confined to a 24-hour period. We take it from this place, and we begin to live it, to help others to, to be introduced to that wonderful one who calls them by name and declares them as beloved children of God, so that they too might begin to see what was simply not possible in their mind moments earlier, to see that the living one, the one that had been in the grave is there before them. Let us be willing to take that message to the world. On behalf of this church, on behalf of the living Christ, I do extend an invitation to connect one's life to Jesus Christ, to connect one's life to a community of faith that will support them in that journey. You can either come forward as we are singing or meet with one of our elders or pastors out in the lobby. Let us now join our voices. brought me to this place because of you I freely live my life to you oh God I give so I stand before you God I lift my voice cause you set me free so I shout
listen to your loving hands and I am yours I am yours so I shout out your name from the rooftops I proclaim that I Wednesday, and then again next Sunday for four weeks, mending our relationships with duct tape in hand. I hope that you will participate, that you will find some tools that will help you in that good work. If you purchase an Easter lily in honor or memory of someone, there are some out in the lobby that you can pick up and take home with you. Let us now reach out, take the hand of somebody close, and let us join together in our closing prayer that you see on the screen. Gracious God, may your love and our lives come together in a life lived in love. May Jesus be our mentor and our model, and may the world see in us a life that is willing to put love first in all things. Amen. So I shout out your name from